Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back for another quick moment of encouragement. All right, it's Wednesday, which means you've had Monday and Tuesday this week. Did you enjoy your videos? Let, let me know in the comments what you've enjoyed so far. All right, don't forget, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m., we release a video every day to encourage you on your walk. All right, so join me. All you got to do is click the subscribe button, click the bell, and every morning when it releases, you'll get an alert to say, hey, new videos ready, check it out, and then build your hearts up from there. Let's look at today's post. It says, failing twice doesn't make you a failure. And look at all the days you've succeeded, and then you failed a few times, all right? Let's look at the verse that I chose to connect with this. This is Proverbs 24, 16. It says, the godly may trip seven times, but they will get up again. But one disaster is enough to overthrow the wicked. The godly, that's the key. If you're chasing after God, it doesn't mean you're going to be perfect. It doesn't mean that you will be without error. But when you do fall, when you do stumble, when you do have that mess up, that hiccup, you will get back up and you will chase after God. And when you do that, you will find that you can succeed the next day, okay? One of the things that we have to do, we have to do, is to stop beating ourselves up when we fall, when we fail. Now, I say that not to say, give yourself a, an out. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's okay that we fail. I'm not saying it's okay that we stumble. I'm not saying it's okay that we have sin. Please don't don't misunderstand what I'm misunderstand what I'm saying. I don't want you to sin, but I do recognize that we are frail, we are weak, we make bad choices. I just know that if you fall and you stay there, the enemy will make sure that the days in between your successes will stretch even further. So if you have fallen, get up, get back to God as quick as you can. One of my favorite stories is about David. David, God calls him a man after his own heart. That's how God describes this man. He's a man after my own heart. And then David does a horrible thing. He, he takes another man's wife. He commits adultery with this woman. He gets her pregnant right not only does he get her pregnant but he tries to hide that he got her pregnant so he tries to bring the, the husband home from war and try to get him to go spend time with his wife so it looks like that the child that she's gonna have is actually their child but this man has integrity he refuses to go home and spend time with his wife when his brothers are out on the battlefield fighting so the king gets him drunk and sends him back to try to, if he's drunk, he's definitely going to want to hook up with his wife, right? Wrong. This man has integrity. He sleeps at the steps of the king. I'm not going home to my wife while my brothers are at battle. So what does David do to cover up his sin? He writes a letter. He writes a letter with orders. He gives it to the commander. No, he gives it, I'm sorry, he gives it to the man that he was trying to set up. This man is taking a sealed document to the commander of the army that says, put this man at the front of the battle so that he will die at battle. David was at his wits end. He didn't know how to cover this up. So it resulted in him having the man killed, right? You see what sin does? Sin only takes you further and further, further down and away from God. How did I just tell you God described it? A man after my heart. And now here's David moving as far away from the heart of God as possible. One day turns to two, two day that turns to three, but he did. Once it was brought to his attention that he had fallen and stayed in that state, he got back up and he got back into God's graces. So what am I saying to you? I'm saying to you, if you fail, you're not a failure. If you failed again, you're not a failure. 
You're only a failure when you accept failure and you stay in your failing. So I say, get back up. You Seven times, hey, you may have fallen over and over, but you're going to get back up and then get back right with God. And if you do that, you will look up down the road and you will see you are not a failure. All right. God bless you guys. God bless you guys. I, this, this excites me because I don't like making mistakes. I don't like messing up, but it's part of the life that we live. We are beings that are have a pull toward doing the wrong thing. So we have a battle every day to do what's right or do what's wrong. Doing what's wrong is always easier. Doing what's right is always harder, but the reward of doing what is right is the strength to know I can do right again tomorrow. And you can build the momentum. But if you do fall, and if you do fail, remember, you are not a failure. Don't let the enemy trick you into thinking that you're a failure because you have fallen. No, get back up, get back right with God. I am willing to bet that you are willing to click the like button, click the subscribe button, and then share this video. But today, I want you to share it with five people. I normally tell you to share it with three or share it with one, but today we're gonna stretch it because more people need to know that they're not failures. So share it with at least five people. Will you do that for me? I know you will. All right, watch it, share it, and live it. Now let's get busy living the life. God bless you.